Case study, identifying the Bevor sign, paralysis of the lower rectus abdominis in a 40-year-old patient. Introduction. The Bevor sign, characterized by upward displacement of the umbilicus, is indicative of paralysis of the lower rectus abdominis muscle. This case study highlights the clinical presentation and diagnostic significance of the Bevor sign in a 40-year-old patient. Patient presentation. A 40-year-old patient presented with difficulty in abdominal movement and an abnormal position of the umbilicus. Evaluation and findings. 1. Physical examination showed an upward displacement of the umbilicus during trunk flexion. 2. Neurological examination confirmed paralysis of the lower rectus abdominis, consistent with the Bevor sign. Diagnosis and treatment. 1. MRI of the spinal cord revealed a lesion at the T10 level, affecting the nerve supply to the lower rectus abdominis. 2. The patient was referred for physical therapy and rehabilitation. Exam-focused facts. 1. Bevor sign, associated with paralysis of the lower rectus abdominis muscle. 2. Clinical presentation, upward displacement of the umbilicus during trunk flexion. 3. Diagnosis, clinical examination, supported by imaging if a spinal lesion is suspected. 4. Etiology, trauma, spinal cord lesions, muscular dystrophy, e.g., facioscapular humeral dystrophy. 5. Treatment. Physical therapy, rehabilitation, treatment of underlying cause. 6. Differential diagnosis, other neuromuscular disorders affecting the abdominal muscles. 7. Prognosis, varies with underlying cause, rehabilitation can lead to functional improvement. 8. Bevor's historical context, named after British neurologist Charles Edward Bevor. 9. Clinical relevance important in evaluating spinal cord lesions, especially at the thoracic level. Conclusion. The Bevor sign is an essential clinical finding that helps in diagnosing paralysis of the lower rectus abdominis. Medical students and practitioners must recognize its significance to ensure accurate diagnosis and appropriate care. Where to find more info? Neurology textbooks, clinical neurology journals, and specialized neurology websites are valuable resources for further study.